Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebra equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, you can multiply this directly as x times x becomes x square, then over 6 times 6, also have 6 square, equals to this side as well, 6 times 6, that's 6 square, then over x times x, we have x square. And next step here, we cross multiply x squared times x squared, then also equals to 6 squared times 6 squared. And this also we have same thing multiplying, just like when we have a times a, which is the same thing as a squared. And here we can write this as x squared or squared equals to also 6 squared or squared. The next step here, we take everything on the right hand side to the left hand side, and we have x square or square minus c square or square, then equals to zero from here. And also here, this follows the difference of two squares. When we have a square minus b square, this same thing as a plus b into brackets and open bracket a minus b which implies here a is standing as x square and b standing as six squared then here all we have follow this and becomes x square plus six square into brackets the open brackets x square minus six square close brackets then equals to zero here as is here, also we have two possible cases. The first one we have x squared plus 6 squared equals to 0, or we have the second one x squared minus 6 squared equals to 0 here. Then, solving on this side, this follows when we have a squared plus b squared, which is the same thing as a plus bi into bracket. Then also open bracket a minus b r. At this here, this follows what we have and become x plus six i into bracket. Then open bracket also x minus six i plus bracket, which is equals to zero here. And also we have two cases here: x plus six i equals to zero, or we have x minus 6i equals to 0 here. Solving on this side, we have x equals to minus 6i, which is a complex solution. And on this side, we have x equals to 6i, which is also a complex solution here. As this, we have two complex solutions from here. And solving from the second case here, x squared minus 6 squared equals to zero also here this follows difference of two squares when we have a square minus b square which is the same thing as a plus b into bracket then open bracket a minus b which implies what we have here becomes x plus six into bracket then open bracket x minus six and also here we have two cases, x plus 6 equals to 0, or we have x minus 6 equals to 0 here. On this side we have x equals to minus 6, which is a real solution. And here we have x equals to 6, which is also a real solution. Also we have two real solutions from here. And all together we have four solutions. When we write it out, and see the first one x1 is equals to 6 we have the second one x2 equals to minus 6 then x3 from the complex solution we have 6i then x4 also from the complex solution we have minus 6i so here we have two real and two complex solutions from here then let's check if this satisfies the given problem 
That is, we substitute the value of x into this problem. When x equals to 6, all we have become 6 over 6 times 6 over 6. Is it equals to also here yeah, 6 over 6 times 6 over 6? And from here, 6 over 6 can be written as 1 times also 6 over 6 as 1. Is it equals to this side as well? 6 over 6 as 1 times 6 over 6, 1. Then 1 times 1, simply as 1, which is equals to 1 times 1, which is also 1. Then we have left hand side equals to the right hand side. And 6 here satisfies this given problem. And also for x equals to minus 6. When we substitute minus 6, what we have become minus 6 over 6 times minus 6 over 6. Is it equals to 6 over minus 6 times 6 over minus 6? Minus 6 over 6, that's minus 1 times also minus 6 over 6 minus 1 is equals to here 6 over minus 6, that's also minus 1, and which we can write as minus 1, then times also 6 over minus 6, that's also minus 1. That is Minus times minus here give us plus. 1 times 1, that's 1, which is equal to also minus 1 times minus 1, that's 1. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then, minus 6 also satisfy this given problem. Then, also, we substitute x equals to 6r. Then, the equation here becomes 6r over 6 times 6i over 6 is it equals to 6 over 6i times 6 over 6i and 6i over 6 can be written as i times also 6i over 6 as i is equals to here we have 6 over 6i we can put it as 1 over high also times 1 over high then i times i implies same thing multiplying that's i squared and is equals to here yeah, 1 times 1 1 over i times i i square then we should note that i square is equals to minus 1 that is here yeah, we have minus 1 is equals to also 1 over minus 1 and this is minus 1 which is equals to 1 over minus and also minus 1. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then, x equals to 6r also satisfies this given problem. Then, for minus 6i as well, we substitute the equation here, and what we have become minus 6i over 6 times minus 6i over 6 is equals to 6 over minus 6i times 6 over minus 6i then minus 6i over 6 same thing as minus i times also minus 6i over 6 that's minus i is it equals to also 6 over minus 6i that's 1 over minus i times 6 over minus 6i that's 1 over minus i that is minus times minus is plus i times i that's i square is it equals to here yeah, one times one one over minus i times minus i that's i square and i square here yeah, same thing as minus one is it equals to here yeah, one over minus one this minus one and one over minus one same thing as minus one left hand side also equals to the right hand side and then Minus 6R also satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, and put your comment. And see you next class. Bye for now.